With less than two weeks remaining in the regular season, the Houston Astros and San Diego Padres both find themselves fighting for playoff positioning. We'll break down the third and final game of their series where we have a money-making opportunity on a side. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. Let us know in the comments section who you like tonight in the MLB, whether it's side, total, or even a player prop. We'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. And if you enjoy this content, hit the like button. So we got Houston at San Diego first pitch. 6.40 p.m. Eastern from Petco Park. The Astros evened up this series last night with a 4-3 victory. In the 10th inning, they find themselves up five games in the AL West, leading the Mariners. And in all likelihood, they'll be that number three seed in the American League hosting a wild card series. The Padres could be doing the same. They are the number one wild card team currently up two and a half games on Arizona and the New York Mets. This game's basically a pick 'em. We got Houston at minus 112, San Diego minus 108, and about as low as a total as you're going to see in the MLB at six and a half, rightfully so. We got a couple of strong starters going toe to toe. Framber Valdez and Dylan Cease. Cease 13 and 11 on the year with a 3.58 ERA. He's coming off a start where he actually picks, pitched six scoreless innings against the San Francisco Giants. However, in the start prior, he faced them as well at home, and he allowed four earned runs in that one. Current Houston hitters doing pretty well. Mediocre, I would say, actually, against Cease. 2.56 batting average, two home runs across a large sample size, decent sample size, 82 at-bats. On the other side of things, we've got Valdez, the southpaw, 14-6 record, 2-9-1 on the ERAs, coming off a strong start against Oakland, where he only allowed one earned run across six and a third innings, and he has been lights out since the All-Star break. 6-1 record, 1-7-9 ERA. He's dominated the Padres lineup, batting, they're only batting 2-12 against him with only one home run across 52 at-bats. You look at these bullpens, they rank pretty evenly, even on the season and over the last 30 days. Not much to be gained there. Uh, both pens in decent shape as well. Not too much work out of either side. However, I'd say the edge goes to Houston as far as hitting. If you look over the last 30 days, against righties, they are a top 10 lineup in like average and runs scored. If you look at San Diego, they're a bottom 5 lineup against lefties during the last 30 days. And they're actually dead last with only 12 runs scored against left-handed pitching. Now, obviously, they might not have faced as many lefties as other teams. However, you look at other categories like WRC+, Plus, uh, weighted on base average, and they're, they're a bottom five lineup basically across the board. This one really just comes down to I trust Valdez a little bit more, and I trust this Houston lineup a little bit more. We're going to go with Houston here on the money line. It's basically, like I said, a dead even pick them. So we get a nice, uh, nice line on this one. That'll be our official play for the video. And I have a great promo code for you guys to use over at Sports Memo. You use the code MLB50 right now. It'll get you $50 off the rest of my MLB season straight through the World Series. Brings the rest of the season to under, just under $100. And we're actually number one over the last 90 days in the MLB in units gained. We're in action tonight in the MLB. We'll be in action tomorrow as well. And with Thursday Night Football, we have that play posted as well. As always, there's a link to my Sports Memo page in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted on Sports Memo or on X at Steve's Book 22. If you guys enjoy the content, hit that like button for me, and I'll see you next time.